you know, St Mirren could have won three or four nothing. You know, great chances towards the end of the game. Dreadful performance from Hibs after being so good. You know, I said it in the show during the week. Always raise the game against Rangers, Celtic, Hearts, away from home. Your St Mirren's mother. It's been the same for for years now, and. You know, there's serious questions, I think, and, and the fingers getting pointed in the, at the recruitment department at Hibs. You know, I think four league four league victories this year for Hibs. Um, they've signed, I think, 22 players, and three of them on the team. The 22 players Hibs have signed in the last year, and three of them on the team. So what does that tell you? It tells me that the players that Hibs are bringing in are no, any, no as good as the ones that were already there. So yeah. you're getting in a situation where Hibs struggled latterly under Jack Ross, really struggled under Sean Maloney, and it's basically now they're still the same team. You know, eight, eight Jack Ross signings in the team, so I think you've got to look at Ian Gordon, Ron Gordon, and you've got to say, what is going on with the recruitment department? They keep signing young players. You know, obviously signed a couple of experienced players, unfortunately, Aidan McGee to get injured, but they keep signing players from abroad that are no good enough. They're yeah. no good enough for Scottish football at this, and Hibs are not a project club. Is that because Ian Gordon's out of his depth? He is out of his depth. He is out of his depth. And, you know, I think Ron came out and said that, you know, it's a collective at Hibs, you know, the managers get input, but there's no way, no way that Lee Johnson is signing some of the players. There's no, no way he's signing some of the players. So I think there's, there's real problems at Hibs at the minute in terms of recruitment. And if Martin Boyle doesn't score or doesn't play well, I feel as if I've said the same for 18 months. If Martin Boyle doesn't turn up, Hibs don't win. And Martin Boyle had a, had a poor game along with the rest of them on Saturday and Hibs don't score. You know, somebody else has got to chip in with goals as well, but they're so reliant on Martin Boyle, and I hate to think where they would be if they never re-signed them. They'd be somewhere near the bottom of the league.